done. Another shit porcupine. I'm gonna try anyway. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to climb a tree to get a porcupine out. Okay, I got him, I got him. He fell out of the tree and he's falling in the water. Oh my god. It smells. Sorry, Mr. Porcupine. Okay, I brought my porcupine out here. Here he is. It's kind of like a, a small pig or something, really. And uh, I just have to get into the mentality that this is uh, just doing a bit of uh, butchering. So, and I've got to do it quickly or the flies will get in. I turned him over and uh, God, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I guess like a rabbit, I'm cutting open his belly. I've got to get his skin off and I've got to get his guts out. Those are the bits that I'm not going to eat. Now I understand that I read in a book that porcupine's liver is very good. So I need to work out what that is. How many people know how to skin and gut a porcupine? I brought the porcupine about, I don't know, 500 yards from my camp. It's a short walk, so I'm still worried that the bears will smell all these remains that I'm going to leave here. I may be attracted nearer to my camp, but I don't really know what else to do. I'm not going to throw this in the lake. I suppose it's just as likely that a bear would come right now. That would be awful. Okay, I really don't want to waste any of this meat, but I'm no porcupine butcher. I'm finding it a bit hard to get his skin off. <laughs> 